Hey everybody, it's Big Tal Forever again. Got another video for you. Um, my friend that I was talking about a couple videos back with the, the fat pig wife that likes to go out to dinner all the time. Well, my friend came over again and he was going to spend the night, but he said that his sleep schedule is ups down, upside down like mine, so his night time is really his day time. So he just ended up staying for a few hours and uh, talked about his problems and I helped him out for a little bit and then he left. But what he told me was, he basically broke the top three rules of MGTOW philosophy. Don't marry a woman. Don't cohabitate with a woman. And don't share finances with a woman. He broke those three rules, and now he's in a stuck situation. He's totally stuck. He, he got married. Uh, before he got married, when he was dating, he found out that she was bisexual. And she liked to have, like, threesomes and foursomes. Um, and he's, he told his wife, you know, it was like, I'm not into dudes. I, I only like chicks. And he found a bunch of text messages on her phone where she's been talking to another couple saying oh don't worry I'm gonna try and talk him into it but I don't think he's really into guys so she's trying to talk him into having bisexual foursomes and he's not into it and I don't blame him I'm not into that shit either screw that so then he told me that the house is in his and her name so if he gets a divorce he was talking about getting a divorce I said yeah, you need to go get a divorce lawyer because this bitch he found out is cheating on him big time uh, she's having guys messaging her at all hours of the night um, she was even planning on taking a trip to like Colorado to go meet an ex-boyfriend and go have sex with him like what? So, yeah, she's cheating on him big time. And she's not pretty at all. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give her like a 2. Maybe a 1 and a half. She's not pretty. And she's massively overweight. And she's bisexual. And she's, she's just gross. She's a fat grossie. So, and on top of that, he recently just purchased a timeshare with her. And I think the contract for the timeshare lasts for like 10 years. So basically, she talked him into buying her a house. She talked him to buying him in a, a timeshare. That was her idea too, he said. I'm like, dude, you messed up so bad. He's like, I know, I know. I used to be a simp, but now I'm starting to wake up. And I see what's going on. I'm like, yeah, she's screwing you over big time. So, if all of y'all learn anything out there, do not cohabitate. Don't marry them. Don't give them any of your money. Don't enter in, into any contracts with them, like buying a house or a timeshare. No, don't do any of that crap. So, and now he's like, man, I don't know what to do. So I just pounded down eight beers, and I'm like, no, stop drinking alcohol. Alcohol is one of your biggest problems. Alcohol is going to make cause you to make bad decisions. Uh, I mean, look at the girl he's with. <laughs> he was probably drunk when he met her, and uh, probably drunk when he decided to get married to her. Uh, this guy, he, he's a nice guy, but he just keeps messing up. And a lot of it has to do with this chick just screwing his life up. So, that's my video, guys. Be careful out there. Peace out.